Hi, everybody. This is the first day of construction on the horizontal stabilizer. What I am doing here is clicking the main spar doubler to the spar. I'll be match drilling all the holes and then, uh, or I should say final drilling, and then match drilling or final drilling the holes between the uh, spar and the rudder hinge brackets. This is a very meticulous process, and I think that's what appeals to me. To do this correctly, you must not jump, you must not rush ahead, you must be meticulous. One of the things that I've been thinking about as I've been continuing in this build, because I'm, I'm way past here by now, obviously, is the nature of deburring and cleaning metal. One of the very first things that you learn is how to clean and properly uh, prepare edges, holes for fastening. You must not have any sharp edges. You do not have any burrs. Vibrations lead to cracks. Cracks lead to failed parts and failed parts lead to failed flights. And when you do actually start to deburr these holes, a lot of the instructions in the plans are uh, very simple. Uh, take piece X, uh, that's actually two pieces, separate them <clears throat> by cutting out the hash lines as noted in figure one. And then the next sentence just says deburr, period. Well, I always go back and make sure that I look through the plans and say, oh, uh, and this is actually a note to self, please read forward in the plans. If something is going to get final drilled later, don't bother deburring the holes now, because chances are the deburring that you've done will be uh, erased when you match drill, thus widening the hole slightly and taking away the deburr work that you've already done. I think that's Vans playing a little joke. Oh, deburr everything now. Oh wait, I mean now. So now we move on to the front spar. This is actually a little bit backwards in time. Uh, as you'll notice, there used to be a bandsaw. Ugh. Damn motorcycles. Anyway, here's the first time that you'll cut any metal. There's a uh, small doubler plate that you put on the front of the front spar, and then you mark the bottom and then cut the bottom off. I thought about using snips, and I've tried, and I've practiced, but I, it's just a complete and utter cluster Bandsaw is the only way to go. One cut, clean and done. Then it's just a matter of cleaning the edge, clicking everything back, and making sure the uh, bottom's aligned. Those files are going to be used a lot. One thing I wish I had was a file that actually had an inset groove, because a lot of work I do is on, basically, on outer radius corners. Can't really get those with the uh, deburring tools too well, so I like to do those with the files. And it's kind of hard to keep it in the center. You wind up tracking off to the left or right. If you had just had a, a file with a groove in the back, note to self, try to find a file with a groove in the back. Anyway, looks like now I'm going to start pulling the rest of the pieces for the horizontal stabilizer, and then uh, we're going to continue with the build, so I'll see you all later.